You're blessed. Mama, can I speak with you? You? Yes. Yes. Stand up. Oh, Jesus. I want to pray for you. And I want God to help you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because there's a problem. I'm seeing your blood changing. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. And this can end up affecting your heart. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. So we need to pray for you so that your heart must never be affected. Amen. Because I'm seeing your body getting, it's like it's becoming swollen. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Hello. Are you not from Durban? Yes. Come. Mama, can you tell us your name and where you come from and also introduce the person next to you? I'm Norman Dematikizel. I'm coming from Deben and this is my daughter Zimbini. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today from the prophet and also confirm it? Uh, he said I'm going to be healed today and that my daughter must stop drinking and uh, she will get a job and finish her school. And he also talked about the issue of your blood changing, which could uh, cause a heart attack upon your life. Can you, do you know something about that? I do, because sometimes I normally feel that as if I'm not breathing properly, but you know, I've been to doctors, it, they don't really know what is happening, but I swell a lot. <laughs> but I believe today that I've been delivered totally. And how was the swelling affecting you? I couldn't do anything. It was difficult for me to walk to sit down for a long time, to stand for a long time. I was uh, literally asking other people to do things for me. Even when coming here, they had to take me on a wheelchair on the plane. Yes, yeah, so it was difficult. And he also spoke on the issue of anti-marriage in your family. Can you tell us what was happening? I've never been married. My brothers uh, are married, but the one who comes after me, he's uh, not with his wife. My daughter got married, but she's also divorcing, so it is really in the family, I know. So, so I thank God that he has seen that and it's going to be, um, we are going to be delivered from that spirit. Amen. And how did you feel when the prophet told you that this anti-marriage in your family, it's also going to your children. How was that for you hearing that? No, it's because I knew when she, she was married in 2013 and she did, uh, started divorcing last year and I was just worried that it's the same pattern because I've never been married myself. No. Yes. And also hearing the fact that uh, your child was following Christ but then stopped and started drinking. As a parent, did you try to tell her that the way she's taking it is not a right way? Yeah, you, you do, but it's difficult when a child is older than 21. You try and talk, then you let her decide about her life. But you are always there to support her so that she goes the right way. Yes. And with these prophecies that you have received, not only for yourself, but the whole entire family, which I bring, I believe it has brought forth deliverance unto your lives, what is it that you believe God will do for you? I believe that uh, the marriages that are wrong in my family, my brothers and my child, because uh, prophet said, uh, apostle said uh, he's going to get married again. So I believe that, that everything is sorted out. We are totally delivered. Amen. Oh. I want to pray for you. Yes. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. I want to pray for you, but there's a certain spirit that is following you. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm seeing you studying. Yes. Yes. Huh? yes. I'm seeing you studying, but I'm seeing it's like things are becoming difficult. Huh? Okay. Yes, sir. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. Amen. But I'm seeing you on the other side. It's like your prayer is to study and finish. Yes. Because I'm hearing your prayer that God, give me a job. Give me a job. Amen. Yes. Huh? Yes, Amen. I'm hearing something like no Monday. Yes, it's my mother's name. Huh? It's my I mother's name. Monday. I'm going to pray for you. Huh? Amen. And let's break this curse of marriage in the house. Are you hearing me? Amen. Let's break this curse. That is happening in your house. We don't want this thing to follow your children. 
Mm. Are you hearing me? Amen. Where is your husband? I've never been married. That's what I'm saying. Let, let's not mm. allow this case to follow your children. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. My sister, are you going to church? I used to. No? I used to, but then I stopped. You are drinking, huh? Yes. Because I want to pray for you, but I'm hearing that if I don't tell you about this, you're going to have problems in your studies. Because when I'm speaking with you, I'm seeing alcohol. Yes. Huh? Yes. And it's like you're drinking, not long. Yes. Huh? Yes. Say amen. Amen. Now your heart is beating fast and good, 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 because I'm feeling it. So I want to pray for you. You need to change your life, huh? Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, one of God. You need to change your life. You give your life to Christ. Amen. We have got a church in Durban. You must go there. Yes. yes, sir. They told you? Yes, we saw it. You saw it. Charis. You must go there. Okay, okay. sir. Are uh, you? I'm commanding. You must go there in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Because we don't want to pray for you and you find from there, Satan comes back again and attacks you. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes. Amen. So, and mama, today you'll be healed, huh? Thank you, Jesus. Because I'm hearing pains in your body. Yeah, thank you, huh? Jesus. Amen. Today God is going to heal you. Thank you, Jesus. And this healing will be permanent. Amen. Ceci? Yes, man of God. Be, leave these friends. Yes, man of God. Are you hearing me? Yes, man of God. Because I'm, re I'm seeing wrong, wrong, wrong friends around you. And they can end up giving you a spirit of uh, having feelings uh, with yes, the wrong, wrong agendas. Oh, yes, man of God. Are you hearing me? Yes, man of God. With the wrong genders. Let me put it that way. Are you hearing me? Yes, so man of God. I pray for you from here. Leave this alcohol. And after this, you'll be able to finish your studies Thank and you'll Jesus. get a job. Thank Amen. you, man of God. I receive. So, so can you tell us your name and where you come from and also introduce the person next to you? Uh, I'm Zimbini Matigizela. I come from Durban. This is my mother, Nomote Matigizela. And can you tell us the prophecy you received from the prophet today and also confirm it? Um, the prophet says um, I'm studying at the moment and that I'm struggling with my studies. And it is true, I have been struggling. I have I've repeated modules for two or three times. But when I God said I must uh, end this friendship with the friends that I have because they are a bad influence to my life. So it is true with the drinking and the friends and the studying that it, everything but I believe the man of God when he says I will receive my job and I will complete my studies and I must that he must I must go and attend the church there in Durban and then my life will grow and what was the reason that made you to start drinking it's just uh, friends being influenced by friends just seeing them want to ha be with them so we end up doing things that are not right Yes, so. And how was that affecting your life? And not in a negative way. Things were not going right in my life, so I thought it was, at the moment it feels good, but the next day it's just, it doesn't feel right. Yes. And as the prophet uh, advised you to follow Christ again, are you going to do that? Yes, full, I will do that. Wholeheartedly I will do that, yes. And how do you feel now that they've prayed for you? I feel uh, a relief in my heart and I'm so happy that even for my mother with her deliverance as well. Because that as well affects me. No, it, it affected me. The way she was, her health and everything. I was going to... So do you believe that as the prophet has prayed for your mom, as what was happening to her was really affecting you, because we are seeing that you are very emotional right now, do you believe that God has healed your mom, has done it for her? Yes, I believe. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Come out! Come out! You demon!
Come out, you demon. And this spirit will end up bringing headache to you. Are you hearing me? Yes, my Lord. If you don't leave this, what you're doing, this spirit will bring headache. Because I'm seeing sometimes trying to study, you say, I. Yes, my Lord. Let me stop. Huh? Yes, my Lord. So, please. I'm seeing another. Your number start with 078. Eh? Yes, it does. Huh? It does. I'm seeing uh, it, it has got a lot of zeros. Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes, it does. And you are healed forever. You are free, Mama. And God has healed you today. Yeah? And, Ceci, did you hear what I said? Uh, leave these friends. Stop these things. You'll see. After you, you'll finish school. After you finish, God will give you a job. Thank you, Mother God. But if you leave these things, yes, if you continue... Uh, because you know it's a secret, eh? Yes, my Lord. Huh? And I'm sure even when you came here, you never thought we can, we can tell you. No, my Lord. Huh? No, my Lord. You thought we would tell you about your job and studies. So there's nothing that God doesn't know. So you're free, and I'm not condemning you. I want you to, to give your life to Christ. Thank you, my Lord. Are you hearing me? Yes, my Lord. And God will see you through. You're free. You're free. Thank you, my Lord. You're free.